Okay, so welcome back to Oliver's Greenhouse. Me and Harry today have come down to Hampshire Carnivorous Plants um, open day at the greenhouse. So they've got a massive selection of carnivorous plants to have a look at today. It's a bit grim and grey outside. We've just driven here. Um, and it looks like there's a lot of people here. So we're going to go in, we're going to pick the bipod up, uh, the tripod up, and we're going to have a wander in and have a look and hopefully get some footage. Um, have a look at some of the plants, meet some of the people that are here as well. Probably make a few purchases, not too many, just a couple today, I think. A bit, bit tight on cash at the moment. And um, maybe get an interview with Matt Soper if I can. I don't know how busy he's going to be today, so we'll have to wait and see how we get on. Um, but yeah, lovely spot. So Harry's here as well. Say hello, Harry. Hello. And you guys are just balancing on the dash at the moment. So we're going to go out for a wander now, and I'm going to take you guys with me. Okay, so here we are inside the greenhouse. Just to give you an idea, this is the new part of the greenhouse which has been set up. Give you an idea of scale. There are so many plants in this greenhouse. It just goes on and on and on and on. An enormous selection of North American pitcher plants. Harry, go and stand by the plants over there so I can get a picture. There goes Harry. Amazing, aren't they? What do you think, Harry? Cool? Excellent. And there's also another greenhouse that goes on. Quite a few people here at the open day already. Matt's working, walking around the, around the greenhouse um, doing plant sales. There's also a range of refreshments on as well. So let's have a mooch about. Here's a nice big tray of Darlingtonia. Some flowers over there. We'll see if we can get some of those. Everything's very late this year in England because of the cold weather. It warmed up and then it went horribly cold again. So all the plants are a little bit behind. Let's see if we can get one of those blooms in. They're over the back. Just there. You just see them centre of shot. Here's one of these Darlingtonia flowers. So I can just... Get up. There we go. Very unusual. Looks a bit like Cape Gooseberries, I think. One of the things I find equally interesting about coming here is the, is the little tiny ecosystem of other small carnivorous plants which are growing in the pots. Because everywhere you look, there's a little utricularia, a little tiny drosera. Throughout the whole lot, I'm just going to show how prolific they are. There's even some drosera benata over the back there. And over this side, we've also got some rogue capensis growing over here as well. And this tray where Harry's standing, having his free refreshment, we've got some Venus fly traps in here as well. And over the back, we've got some absolutely massive Drosera, some Drosera banata. This is the centre of the shot, that's uh, Var Dichotoma. Um, that's the really, really big one that goes up to, it's just huge. It's a huge clump. Some of these plants must be really old. There's some Drosera filiformis over there at the back as well. There's a lovely one over here to our right, we're just panning around to. That plant over there is an absolute beauty. Let's go and have a closer look. Crown on that, loads and loads and loads of different crowns producing very compact Drosera filiformis, subspecies filiformis. Beautiful, and some flowers over here as well. Yeah, like I said, everything's very late this year. These are slightly out of focus, so everything's really slow to get going. Mine in the greenhouse have only just started getting mine look like this over the back here. You can just see that centre of shot. Oh, it's focusing on the uh, wrong thing there. Just over the back there, you can see they're just, they're just starting to unfurl front of us, this tray in front of us just here has just got so much colour in it, there's lots of Judith tip Sopa in here, um, and lots of other little Saracenias, but the colour is just absolutely fantastic. Beautiful Saracenia varmorii, in front of look at the colour in that, absolutely stunning. And quite a big plant as well, it's got to be a couple of feet tall, all the way down there. Of course you can, sunshine. Here we are in the Nepenthe section. 
loads of little Nepenthes down here. A couple of big benches, some little Jacqueline in front of us, some Jamban. Okay, so I've had a really, really good uh, few hours at um, Matt Soper's um, open day at Hampshire Carnivorous Plants, and I was very well behaved. I only brought three plants back. Uh, they're free representations of Saracenia leucophila, so the ones which I've been particularly interested in, usually because of their colour and potential size. So I got a Saracenia leucophila giant. So this guy's going to get proper big. It's, it, you know, it's going to be a couple of foot maybe, but they're really, really uh, large diameter traps. So I'm very happy about that. I got a standard Saracenia leucophila as well at the Deer Park, Alabama. And this has got the very, very pinky uh, veins uh, on the lip of the trap when it's open. It's a very, very beautiful colour. And I just got a Saras another Saracenia leucophila as well from Pensacola, which has got sort of a much more unusual coloration to the outside of the um, actual picture. So I'll come and show you those now so you can see them. So these are the plants I got. This is the uh, Leucophila giant here. It's got a little picture up already. Um, this one over here is uh, the Deer Park, Alabama, which has got this nice tall, slender picture on it here. And over the back, we've got uh, this one's from Pensacola. This is slightly smaller. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on and actually repot these and put them into much bigger pots. They, they, they don't actually look as if they were repotted that long ago. I want to put them in big square pots because they're going to fit uh, on my display bench a lot better that way. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I'll upload this footage. Thank you. A big thank you to Matt for letting me come down and actually uh, take some pictures and do some filming. Um, in his greenhouse. Um, it was really, really good day today. There was quite a lot of people there. It was quite busy. I met some really, really nice people. Um, so Kevin, hello to you. And Nigel as well, also a big hello to you. Nice to meet you today. So it was really, really good. And looking forward to um, getting out there again. Um, I did speak to Matt at the end as well. We had a bit of a chat. And uh, I think I may have convinced him to do a, a short interview. I'm going to go down there when it's nice and quiet and there's no one else around and have a mooch about and have a chat with him and uh, record that as well and upload that. So that should be something to look forward to. Uh, as regards to the rest of the weekend, I've got a few bits to do in the greenhouse. I'm going to be filming again probably tomorrow. I've got some big reservoir, new reservoirs for the misting system. So we're going to be putting those in as well. And I'm going to be doing a well overdue tour of the greenhouse because there's lots of really cool stuff in there and I haven't uploaded anything in a little while. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll see you all again for another episode of Oliver's Greenhouse.